Hey everybody, Stephanie here from unworthythoughts.com and today we're gonna talk about making sure you're in alignment with how you are made and being okay with that. What am I talking about? I recently was coaching a client and it was so interesting where her thoughts were coming up because it's exactly where I have been, thinking you should be showing up like somebody else. And so in this case, what she was doing is she was saying, I'm too empathetic and I have too much compassion and I get too emotionally involved when I'm talking with somebody that I can't stay focused on where I'm going. And she said, that's a problem. And I thought, how funny that this is her perspective because I've had the same conversation with myself from the opposite perspective, saying I'm not empathetic enough or I'll judge myself. So one of my best friends, she is an extremely compassionate, very empathetic and supportive kind of person. I mean, she'll sit down with anybody and be best friends with them immediately and they'll be in tears weeping and sharing life stories. That's not me and I'm not anywhere close to being that kind of a person. And yet I kept thinking there was something wrong with me because I wasn't doing that. So what I want you to help you to see in this example is look at your own places in your life where you are saying that there's a standard and you're not meeting it because that standard is how somebody else is living their life. We are all made very differently and we have our unique dispositions, personalities, temperaments, mindsets, worldviews, you name it. And that makes us uniquely how we are. So how can you show up not only authentic to yourself, but respectful of yourself, honoring the skill set that you have, treating yourself and respecting that as the value you bring. So I'm direct, I'm focused, and you know, I am a good, strong leader, and so I can take charge of a coaching situation, and the clients who come to me need that. They're getting lost in their mind drama, and if I let them, they would go on and on and tell me all the excuses and just keep diving in, and I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy into that excuse. That is created by your own thoughts, your thoughts that don't want you to keep moving forward because it's hard. Let's talk about what's hard, and let's get to the bottom of this instead of letting you keep spiraling out in this drama. I can call him out on that. And that's, I know, is one of my gifts because of how I am made, how I'm wired, because I'm not going to get into the empathetic side yet. And it's not that I don't care. It's just that you don't need me to be there. You have friends and family who can do that, who will let you cry on their shoulder, right? And will pat you down and it's going to be okay. And it's not that I'm not supportive, but you need somebody sometimes to give you that push, that extra nudge, and keep you going. Think about the great sports analogy in that the players come out in the field, they've got the cheerleaders to keep them motivated, they've got their friends and fans up in the stands, right, to cheer them on and keep them going. But the coach is less about keeping them going as far as cheerleading and more about helping them to have that strategy, remember what they're good at, remember the plays they've put in place to keep them focused. I help you create that. I help you to do those plays in your mind to get the clarity you need to stay focused during the game, the game of life. I mean, there's nothing bigger than that. That's what coaching is all about. And it starts with honoring exactly who you are and where you're at and letting us see those amazing strengths, how they can come to life and what you're doing. 